So hi dear Aquarius, a very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Tarot and this is a journal of reading for all the Aquarius Sun, Moon, Venus rising. Keep in mind this is general, it might or might not resonate with you at the first place. The second thing, the rules can be reversed also. Third thing, this is a reading from 8 till the 14th of April. And it is valid for every 12 sign that you are dealing with along with the, uh, your own sign. If it is not resonating, it's not your story, you can just skip the video. If you want to be a professional tarot card reader like me, you can start your journey by purchasing my course. The link is in the description box for the same. Okay, it's in simple plain English language. If you want to start your self-healing journey with hope or no, or no, but don't know from where to start and what are the steps and how to do it, uh, you can purchase my master class. The link is in the description box. You can start your self-healing journey from today only. It's very easy. It's so simple that you're going to be amazed. Okay, but it is uh, it has the power to change your life for the rest of your life. Now let's start Aquarius. Your person or your partner's current feelings for you right now at this present moment are we have the Queen of Swords. So someone is kind of very practical. Someone is very practical. Someone is very logical. Someone is kind of giving you a very hard time uh, showing up their emotions. Let's clarify the Queen of Swords why this is happening. This is someone who is kind of a kind of a type of a person of which my way or highway kind of thing. Yes, let's see. We have the moon card, the ace of wands and the page of pentacles. So what is happening is this person is very scared of having another chance in the situation. Uh, they're very scared of opening up to you again because they don't want to get, her, uh, get hurt again. There are, there's a lot of fear on the way. Uh, this person definitely feels like coming towards you, opening up to you, starting a connection with you. But at the same time, they're so scared. So they feel like, okay, putting on this mask of I don't care is a good thing to do because I'm scared like hell. Uh, I have lots of fears on the way. I have lots of limiting beliefs on the way. So it's better for me to stay like this only forever because I'm scared. Because the more I feel like I should go forward and connect with Aquarius, the more I am about to shit my pants. <laughs> I'm really sorry about this uh, stupid example, but this person is hell scared and this person is feeling like uh, this is the right thing to do. Uh, like putting on this mask of I don't care is the right thing to do. Yeah. But they do have emotions, they do care that that is uh, that that I'm very sure about because the page of cups at the bottom of the uh, deck is there, ace of wands is here, page of pentacles is here. So this person is definitely feeling like having a brand new beginning from scratch but they're scared as hell. So they're like I don't care, I don't, I'm, not, I'm going to show to Aquarius that I don't even care about them even they if they even exist on the planet earth, okay. Let's see what do you feel about this particular person or situation from your side Aquarius, let's see. The strength card. You feel like uh, watching this person from a distance, staying in your power and not uh, participating in the drama. Okay. Let's clarify the strength. According to you, this whole situation is a conflict. This whole situation is a drama. And you don't want to participate in this drama, drama anymore because... Okay. Because I would like to clarify the strength. We have the six of wands, the devil and the lovers. Okay. Okay, you feel like this person is continuously putting you in some kind of third party situations or continuously uh, keep uh, continuously putting you in some kind of toxic cycles and uh, uh, you know, even if you're trying your best to give give the situation a lot of money, uh, no, um, for some of you might be money as well, a lot of attention, a lot of love, a lot of energy, you're not getting anything out of it. All you're getting is toxicity, negativity, being put in third parties, being treated uh, treated as an option. And you feel like holding back this urge to connect with this person or the situation anymore because you feel like enough is enough. I should just take my power back and work on myself and my own individual goals in my life. The devil and the lovers together definitely feels uh, like uh, uh, treating you as an option and putting you in third parties and blaming you for that. It's, uh, yeah. Things are up in the air. You're not able to uh, like make sense of the situation, but you know uh, that this is best for you to stay away and uh, stay in your power. Let's see what this person wants from you. What are their intentions for the situation between you and them? Aquarius. We have the Ten of Swords. Their intention here is to put an end to something. This person is feeling defeated, you know. This person is definitely feeling defeated in the situation in some way, shape or form. But let me clarify the Ten of Swords as their intentions. We 
we have the seven of cups the five of swords and the eight of wands yeah this person wants to put an end to this confusion put an end to this third party kind of situations if they were not making you a priority in their life now they are ready to think about it now i'm not saying this person wants to make you the priority because they're hell scared i'm telling you they're about to shit their pants if they are going to come towards you and tell you that i want to make you the priority this person don't have that much guts i don't see that if you're a cross watcher and uh, my words are hurting you and they're very harsh i'm really sorry but might be you are not like that just don't, don't if it is not resonating it's not your story just don't take it like that okay but i don't see this person having the guts to tell you that they want to make you uh, the priority of their life right now and they want to think about uh, making you a priority of their life and they want to talk to you they want to have back and forth communication with you they want to put an end to this confusing never and confusion and never ending cycle of going in circles and circles and circles and nothing come good coming out of that yep okay this person wants to go like wait for the right time to come back around and talk to you about again about uh, the future direction of the situation but not telling you directly that they want to make this work out with you <clears throat> what is wrong with this person why are you dealing with this kind of a person if this is the nature of this person character of this person i highly recommend you to just get out of here and never look back from your side the intentions are of 3 of cups i think you just want to enjoy a good connection you know you just want to enjoy a good relationship you want to collaborate you want to have partnership but let's clarify the three of cups what is the twist here mm -hmm. there is a twist okay so let's clarify the three of cups we have the seven of swords and the page of wands and the eight of swords you want the secrets to be out you want to come out of this mental jail you want to come out of the third parties you want to talk to this person openly and honestly you want everything crystal 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 clear on the table and you want to collaborate with this person only if they are ready to tell you the truth honest and naked truth and then you want to go forward in this situation but you don't want to jump into a relationship right away you are ready to collaborate you are ready to compromise but you want the truth on the table crystal clear truth and nothing but the truth yeah okay three of cups and the devil again the devil there the gemini like lovers card there third party interferences a lot of external interferences in the situation making the situation more and more worse all you want is a clear cut energy of you and your person only talking to each other making each other uh feel comfortable and understanding each other's point of view and making something good coming out of this but it, but for some reason it's not happening because there are lots of uh, third parties and inter external inter influences family money addictions or romantic third parties it's a very complicated situation aquarius let's see what's coming for you till the 14th of april aquarius <clears throat> we have the eight of swords okay i do see mental jail kind of situation where you guys are not able to stop thinking about a situation continuously thinking about it let's clarify the eight of swords here we have the eight of wands the queen of cups and the 10 of swords it's not a good outcome here honey I do see you taking the stand for yourself but at the same time you are going to be cutting something out of your heart cutting a part of your heart like okay you have love for this situation you have love for this connection and you will be continuously overthinking about the situation continuously uh, you know thinking like this is never going to work out it's a worst scenario the worst case scenario in my life you are going to cut someone or something out of your life and it's going to hurt you very badly I'm not going to lie to you guys Aquarius it's going to hurt you badly but at the same time you're going to gain the sense of independence and you're going to gain this energy of right now even if it is not making sense even if this is this decision is not making sense to me right now I know in the future 
this same decision of me cutting this person or situation out of my life is going to give me the life that I dream about. So you are putting an end, you are cutting something out of your life that's very close to your heart and it's going to hurt you but at the same time it's going to set you free. You will not be able to stop thinking about it but at the same time your inner knowing is going to be telling you that your intuition is going to be telling you that okay it's completely fine, you are fine, everything is good, everything is going to be fine for you. Okay, this is the outcome here. Very sensitive outcome so just... Uh, relax nothing is set in stones but these are the energies that are presenting itself in the coming future so now it's up to you how you're going to take it and how you are going how you are going to use it in your favor let's see the guidance for you guys we have is the star card the hierophant and the two of wands the guidance here is heal yourself properly before committing yourself to anything or anyone anything or anyone else anything else or anyone else apart from you aquarius this is your card only you have to accept the fact that the fact that something is still very much close to your heart something is still very much attached to your energies and very much attached to your heart right first of all you have to have this acceptance second then you have a uh, second then uh, okay second thing you have to start releasing this particular person or situation okay uh, slowly but surely in the direction like whether you want them back or not doesn't matter you have to start releasing and letting go of this uh, painful energy that you're going through right now okay and then commit yourself commit to yourself that you are going to heal yourself properly and you're going to wait for the right time or the right kind of energy to do anything in this particular in this uh, direction right in this love and relationship direction so right now all you want is to have a commitment with yourself that you're going to heal and release and understand your own patterns and your own energies and once you are going to be done with that kind of thing then you're going to take the direction then you are going to move in the direction of where your heart is leading you like uh, where your energies are going to naturally uh, like uh, go you know but heal yourself properly release the problems release the issues release the pain then only you will be able to find the future direction of a situation properly so anyway so thank you so much for tuning in aquarius i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste